So the intro is going to sound something like this then. Okay, now that's the first part of the intro there then. And um, what we're going to do then is to start off with pick string 5 open. And then middle finger fret 7 string 4. And then little finger fret 9 string 4. So do do. Okay. Yeah. And then middle finger back to fret 7 uh, string 4. And then index finger fret 6 string 4. So do 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 do. All right, and then to finish off that part, index uh, your middle finger up to fret seven, string number five. Okay, and then if you look at the next part, gonna stay in that same place, gonna play that twice, and then string four open, and then index finger down to fret six, string three, and then back up to string five where your middle finger is back down to string 3 and then all your fingers off and we're going to play string 5 open so that second part okay and if you look at the tab all we're going to do is just play that twice so uh, really slow for you then Okay, that's the intro. So verse A then, it's just really slow palm muting on some basic power chords like this then. <laughs> index finger fret 5 string 5 and your ring finger fret 7 string 4 to start off with we're going to play it once uh, not palm muted so okay and then this part of your hand there your uh, side of your palm resting it on the strings around the bridge there press down so you get this sound your palm muted sound we're going to play that uh, six more times okay Okay, after that we're going to play eight more times. Okay, now if you look at the tab, all we're going to do is go up a string and play this 16 times. Okay, slide that up two frets and down a string, so seven and nine. Okay, and then just slide that down to five and seven. Okay, so that's the don't bide your time. Uh, that part, that's verse A. If you look at verse B now then, it's going to start off exactly the same, so the... Okay, up to there. Then if you look at the very last bar, uh, what we're going to do is come back up to frets 7 and 9. We're going to play it five times. And, and it's going to be kind of like trying to release your palm muting a little bit. And the final two times, we're going to put your little finger on to fret uh, 9, string 3, and play that twice. So, Okay, something like that. So... You know, that's like the only difference there then between verse A and verse B. So next up we've got the fill, which is going to sound something like this then. Okay, so quite quick. Uh, lots of palm mute. It's a little bit tricky. And uh, what we're going to do is put our finger in a power chord shape to start with, because the final two notes we're going to be playing a power chords and it's kind of it's like preparing us for that so index finger fret 4 string number 6 there's going to be a bit of a stretch it's your ring finger on fret 7 string 5 and your little finger fret 7 string number 4 okay so this chord shape and then what we're going to be doing is uh, picking string 6 and 5 okay and if you just bear this in mind 
every time we play string 6 it's going to be palm muted every time we play string 5 it's not going to be muted ok so to start off with I'm going to pick string 6 and then 5 so and then string 6 twice and then back to string 5 so alright if you look at the next part then we're going to stay in that same shape all we're going to do is slide our index finger up to fret 5 and then it's ok so uh, twice on string 6 then down to string 5 twice on string 6 and then down to string 5 again so ok and the next part we're going to finish that by playing string 6 open so ok and then it's your index finger back onto fret 4 and then basically it's going to keep repeating that pattern ok so from the start ok so you can see that's taken us right up to the last bar there then we finished on the uh, muted fifth and then all we're going to do is play all three strings uh, in that shape and then go up to seven and nine and play it again so okay and all I'm doing there then is um, I play it and then I take the side of my hand press that down on the strings to stop it from ringing out so okay so again I'll play the fill right from the start and uh, it'll sound like this then So the interlude sound like this. Okay, and uh, it's, again, you know, it's a little tricky uh, riff there. Then I'm going to play it to start off. I'm going to play it with our middle finger on fret seven, string number four. Then index finger, fret seven, string five. Back down to string four with your middle finger and stretching over with your little finger to fret 9 string 4 so do 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 ok and then your index finger fret 6 string 3 and then your middle finger back on to fret 7 string number 4 so ok look at the tab we're just going to do that twice so okay and then from that shape all we're going to do is play uh, that again then finger off so picking string 4 open then middle finger back on to fret 7 string 4 little finger fret 9 string 4 and then back down to that 6 and 7 so so Okay, a little bit different that time. And uh, the final time is different again. Going to be your middle finger on fret 7, string number 4. Then off. And then stretch over with your little finger to fret 9, string 4. So twice. And then middle finger back down to fret 7, string 4. Then index finger, fret 6, string 4. So last time. Okay. So from the start, okay, that's the interlude there then. Next up we've got verse C, so just yesterday, it always seemed like such a dream, uh, that part. Okay, that's going to be the pattern, and uh, yeah, that's how it sounds, index finger down to fret 2. So you're covering strings 3 and 4, don't cover string 5 because we're going to want to play that open. And uh, we're going to play this 6 times, it's going to be like 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, so. Do, 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 do. Okay, and then slide it uh, up to uh, fret 7, string 5, then ring finger, fret 9, string 4. Little finger, fret 9, string number 3. Da, 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 da. You know, the same shape. Down to 5 and 7. And back up to 7 and 9. Okay, so from the start. And all we're going to do is play that uh, four times, I think it is. 
and that's going to take us into uh, the next chorus. So a chorus, don't bide your time, um, that part is going to be the exact same strumming pattern that we've just done, so nothing uh, too difficult there, just going to be playing it in some different chord shapes, okay? So it's going to sound like this then. <laughs> Okay, so to start off with, um, we're going to go to index finger, fret 5, string 5, ring finger, fret 7, string 4, little finger, fret 7, string 3. So, do 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 do. If you look at the tab, we're going to do that twice. Okay, then down to that shape at fret 2. Okay, up to that shape at 7 and 9, same shape. Then going down to 5 and 7, it's the same shape again. So from the start then again. Okay, that's the chorus, the don't bide your time part. After the chorus, then it goes back into the interlude and like sort of slows down a little bit. Then it comes in with like a bit of a break, which is the I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that part. And there's two different guitar parts. Guitar two, guitar one will be, which uh, on its own doesn't really sound like much. If you listen to the song, you can hear it in the background though. And all we're doing, playing a harmonic. So your index finger on fret five, and uh, it's going to actually be on the metal fret. Okay, not in between, like on the wood. Put it right on the metal. So there, and uh, don't press down. Just gently leave it on there, and you'll get this kind of sound. You know that kind of sound and all we're going to do is play it twice and then just rest your hand down to stop it and just keep doing that so you know that kind of thing so that's guitar one and guitar two will be like this some basic chord shapes there some power chords index finger Lay that down over fret 2 on strings um, 3 and 4. Don't cover string 5 because we're playing that open. And then 8 times down and up. Upper string. And then index finger, fret 2, uh, string number 6, ring finger, fret 4, string 5, little finger, fret 4, string 4. And then from there, slide it all the way up to frets 5 and 7. And then go down a string okay so that's guitar two's part all right and in the background you know you've got the that's the I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry you know, that kind of part okay so that's like the break in the song and I think that's actually the last part we've got to learn because after that it's just going to go back into the chorus a couple of times I think the song ends with that little interlude, the uh... You know, with that part, and it just keeps playing that over and over and over. I think it plays it about six times, and the song just fades out, okay? So uh, that's I'm Sorry by Blink-182 from the Dude Ranch album. Hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.